Hello everyone. This lesson is about productive inefficiency. What is productive inefficiency? When resources are not used to their full potential in order to produce the most output or productivity, it is referred to as productive inefficiency. It happens when a business's techniques, procedures, structures, or resource allocation are inefficient. Let us take a look at one of the exam type questions related to productive inefficiency. Making use of a production possibility curve, analyze the productive inefficiency. 8 marks. A combination of items that can be manufactured with all of the resources available is displayed on the production possibility curve, AB. A combination of items where resources will be employed efficiently can be seen at any point along the curve. For example, point D. Any point along the curve, therefore, represents efficiency. This means that if the business is producing at any point along the production possibility curve, it is producing efficiently. Combinations of products where resources are employed inefficiently are shown by any point inside the curve, for example, point F. This means that producing at any point inside the production possibility curve shows that the business is producing inefficiently. What causes productive inefficiency? Various factors can lead to productive inefficiency. These include 1. Outdated technology. Using technology that is too old or outdated can seriously reduce productivity. 2. Lack of innovation. Inefficiencies might arise from an inability to innovate and adjust to changing conditions. 3. Ineffective resource allocation. Inefficiencies can result from the inefficient use of resources including time, money, and labor. 4. Inefficient procedures. Ineffective procedures can reduce output and keep a company from realizing its full potential. Productive inefficiency may occur because resources are wasted or when production levels are lower than their potential. This marks the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching. Do not miss the next lesson. Goodbye.